What's up guys, this is KnivesPlus.com. Welcome to another walk around. We're glad you're here with us today, taking some time to check out our videos. We got a uh, walk around to kind of do the uh, modification process that we use on the uh, any knife really, but uh, specifically the Spyderco Delica Enduras. They're basically made on the same frame, just a little bit larger. And uh, this is an actual Delica, so really we just take a knife straight out of the box generally if we're going to modify the tip we modify it at this point uh, it's a lot safer with the handle and everything like that when you're grinding on a tip like that so anyways that will be done first and then it'll be it'll go over into another area where it'll be completely disassembled uh, disassembled all the way down to the scales to the lock bar blade and screws you do need a t6 and a t8 to disassemble a spotter codelica that's it the T8 is the, for the pivot here, and the T6 is going to be for your handle screws. The handle screws are all identical. The only difference is, is the one that's holding the lock bar in place has a little bit of blue Loctite on it. Those are actually separated in another uh, bucket so that when we reassemble it, we should be sure to get the uh, blue Loctite back on this screw. So once that's all disassembled, we get the uh, all the parts, separate them out. If we're going to change out backspacers, we go ahead and get those laid out and everything like that. And then we take the blades and everything that are going to be acid washed, which is your backspace or not your backspacer, excuse me, your lock bar and your blade. Those are going to be uh, acid etched. So we go ahead and set these into a acetone bath. Usually leave it in there 10, 15 minutes. Take them out, clean them off again. Be sure to wear rubber gloves. You don't want any kind of oil or anything, grease, dirt, anything to get on those once you have them cleaned. It'll save you a lot of time from having to redo it and uh, you know, you end up with stuff like like this, dirty. This got rejected. Uh, actually not even sure. It looks like this was actually sitting on something, but it, it wasn't. I'm not sure exactly sure how this got like that. But anyways, we, uh, we do inspect everything before it goes out and uh, until it's in acceptable tolerances. From here, we take a clean blade, clean lock bar, and we go ahead and use nail polish. I use a thicker nail polish because I don't like it to run and get all over the place. If it starts running, you'll end up with lines all over here where it ran. So I use a thicker gel nail polish and uh, feel really weird when I go to buy it. Never did I think I'd be using nail polish in my life, but here I am doing it for you guys. So anyways, I will paint around the pivot here on both sides. That kind of protects uh, around the uh, pivot and the washer. It doesn't, it won't feel gritty. It feels smooth like it should. If you etch this right here, it kind of gets a gritty feeling. Back here, I also uh, put some nail polish to protect that. So any surface that's going to be touching another metal surface, you want to go ahead and protect from the etch. On the lock bar, I do the the front side here and then the back side here so also one other tip when this knife is closed this actually sits here like this when you open it it kind of slides off this back part if you don't protect this and put your nail polish here you get a real gritty fill right there so I do extend down just a bit with the uh, polish to kind of protect it. I, can, I don't know if you can see that in there but right there kind of just uh, makes the knife a little bit smoother and uh, operates a little bit easier. So once that nail polish dries, I usually will set these in kind of like a piece of foam so I don't, I'm not touching them or anything like that. And then once it dries, I just went out and bought a, a Walmart uh, silverware container, cut the top off, super thin, lightweight, super cheap too, and I'll actually set these blades in here. I can set quite a few in it. I have another large container with the ferric chloride solution which uh, I'll do in another video kind of showing you exactly what I do there. So anyways, this just gets dropped down into that solution. You hardly have any kind of, uh, this is very, very thin, so it's not, it doesn't, you can't see the lines or anything like that. It makes for a really great, uh, if you're gonna be doing multiple knives, this works really great, it's pretty cheap too. So once they etch for about 10 to 20 minutes, it just kind of depends. I'll go ahead and take them out, clean them up, and then they get thrown into a uh, vibrating like uh, tumbler with ceramic media in there and that'll go for about another 10 or 15 minutes once that's complete I'll take them out throw them into one other thing uh, another container 
which you could use something like this. I use a, uh, a thick Tupperware thing because once you start throwing these back and forth with that media in there, the tips and things like that can stick out past the plastic. So you gotta be kinda careful and I'll hand tumble these as well. Once that's done, they all everything gets cleaned up and it's reassembled the way that it was when you first buy a Delica. We test them, oil them, everything like that. Your adjustments are here and here and your pivot and your lock bar uh, screw. So once that is done, they go and have, uh, we resharpen the blades, razor sharp, and then we list them on the website. That's, uh, I think that pretty much covers everything that we do on the acid wash. If you guys have any questions or comments, be sure to, uh, Write them down there in the comment section. Otherwise, I will drop a link to our knife modifications web page. Get on over to knivesplus.com.